Alright guys, today we're here to show you how to build custom firmwares. Now this will work with the new firmware 4.3.1. Now this is called Snowbreeze. I'll put all the links in the description. So let's start off. What you're going to need, you're going to need both of these. Snowbreeze and your firmware. Now, you're going to need WinRAR to open up Snowbreeze. So you just want to double click it. Put it in a an easy to find location such as your desktop or even your downloads folder like I did simple I'm just gonna want to extract it and open it alright hit OK it'll pop up with credits close the credits see works for 4.3.1 so work with all the devices that Redstone works with everything but the iPad 2 alright you drag your ISPW into there or you can just browse for it which is easier now mine's on my desktop so just scroll down find it click it open and now it will identify this takes like 20 seconds alright here we go now you want to do expert mode because this gives you more options I hit general because this goes, goes through all the steps you can change your root size but nobody needs to do that I just leave it at the default install SSH you don't need that do the root and root password you don't need that. Uh, the gestures menu is pretty cool. Just swipe on your screen and certain apps will open, whatever you set that to. The activate for the iPhone is not possible yet. This is where you can put custom packages in there. Where you can inst install apps for that right there. For that install this, if you just want to get it done quicker. Okay, now you're done. Now you want to select custom boot logos don't work yet and unlocks there are no unlocks for the newest ba baseband so you want to hit build IPSW okay so they added another cool thing right here called Pac-Man you play Pac-Man while you're waiting or you just let the thing load like this now it's gonna extract the IPSW and this should take a while this could take a, a couple minutes but just let it load and I will come back. All right, we're here at the end, and it is finishing. It's just creating the ISPW file. This file is going to be like 600 megabytes. It'll just sit on your desktop. This should be done pretty quickly. Oh, all right. I want to talk about the iPad 2 jailbreak. This does not cover the iPad 2 jailbreak. The dev team is now currently working on it. And if you didn't know, the Green Poison team are also have fixed Shatter. So you know how Shatter got patched, they fixed it for 4.3.1. So that'll be releasing sometime soon. Hopefully soon. But yeah, this Snow Breeze thing never takes this long, so it should be pretty faster for you. Alright, and Comex has also developed his user land jailbreak, but he never released it, so we're just gonna have to wait for 4.3.1. So, all you people that updated your iPad and didn't and thought you got you, you were idiots for doing it, don't be because they're not gonna ever release a 4.3 only jailbreak. So, yeah, 4.3.1 jailbreak for iPad 2 will be out soon. Just the waiting game again. Alright guys, and this is what it looks like when it's done. Uh, you should have an OK button and it'll say done. Then you should find your IPSW on your desktop. Now it'll come up with the DFU boner. If you just have your device plugged in, it'll bring you through the whole how to install a custom firmware on your iPad, but we're not going to do that. It's just too long a process, so there you go. You just close it. iRab will pop up, and it will put your device into a jailbreakable state. So here's your Snow Breeze. I touch forward right there. 4.3.1 custom firmware.